Hey guys, your objective with this video is to look at loath parts going from slab joists to girders to columns. We're then going to be looking at tributary area for beams and then we're going to be defining and looking at one way and the two way slabs and the major difference between the two. So just to start off with, we're going to have a typical structure like this. Okay, so it normally has a slab. Those, that slab is then supported by joists. So these joists over there, which are then supported by girders. So we have a girder here and a girder at the back over there. And then these girders will be supported by columns. All right, so it's goes slab, joist, girder, column. Now, we're gonna break this down into each of those components and talk about the load path. So the first thing is the slab. Now, obviously a portion of the load from the slab is gonna to go to the joist. Now, what we do is, we're gonna start with the slab over here, all right? Now, this is a top-down view. So if I show you what we have, we have joist, 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 and slab. So there's joist, joist, joist in our slab. And we need to distribute this loading in the slab into some of the joists. Now, we call that the tributary area, okay? The tributary area is the area of the slab which goes into particular beams, okay? So, the blue over here and the blue over here. So if I were to draw in 3D, I hope it, it's quite obvious that this middle joist is going to take a portion of the middle section of the slab, say that portion there. This joist over there will take that portion and this joist over there will take that last portion, okay? So we just divide it up. So, say this was 10 meters, we would call this the distance from there to there 5 meters and the distance from there to there as 5 meters. We would then split that in two, so that would be 2.5, 2.5, 2.5 and 2.5 and this joist would take 2.5 plus 2.5, so 5 meters, and these two joists would take 2.5 meters of the slab there, okay? So I hope that's quite obvious. We're going to be doing examples where we actually do all this, but I just hope it's quite intuitive for now that the distribution of the slab will be taken in this type of pattern for the joists, okay? So this, some of the loading in the slab is going to be transferred into the joists, and if we look from above, it's going to look something like this, where this middle, uh, middle joist there takes this amount, the amount in red, and these two end joists, this